Good afternoon, everyone. Um, okay, uh, this afternoon will be, uh, we are, I am going to tackle about the development of personal functions. So last time we discussed about the evolution, you know, how does the personal administration actually evolve all throughout uh, the years until this very present of time. Okay, so what are the things that uh, we can actually expect no, nga, no, nga makatunan in this topic. So of course, you will be able to know what are the general functions of the uh, the management or the managerial uh, position. Since uh, the manager becomes the head no, in the organization. And also, uh, as an assistant sa uh, top management. So, here, uh, I will be introducing to you, you know, the person who authored actually or uh, this idea or view about the personal management uh, came from. No? So, nagitan siya sa idea ni Edwin B. Fleco, but actually there are lots of authors no, nga nag, nag share sa ilang idea about their view no, of personal management. Now, according to Edwin B. Fleco, uh, as uh, as pair, no, you can even be flipo. It was actually uh, categorized into two. But before anything else, of course, uh, we have to understand what is personal management for us to be able to know what are the functions of it, no, nga naka, naka sangun under sa personal management. Okay, personal management is the management of human resources in an organization. And it is basically with a creation of harmonious working relationship among its participants and bringing about their utmost individual development. So all the functions of personnel management have a basic objective to bring together expertise in a scientific way and to create attitudes that motivate a group to achieve its goals economically, effectively, and speedily. No? So the major objective of every organization is survival and growth, and that is the reality. No? Of course, without the, uh, the harmonious coordination of every possessions or uh, in every department, of, or, of course, it is very impossible for an organization to survive and to grow. So the various people at work put their best efforts so as to achieve this organizational objective. But during a period of time, the organization is deprived of the service of some of its employees because of various reasons such as death, retirement, dismissal, disablement, turnover, and etc. So these are to be replaced by new hands. So of course, with all of those people nung anang labay sa mga, sa mga company or sa organization, uh, na kinanglan as lalo coming from the, uh, the factors na dimension a while ago, ng disablement, dismissal, and retirement. So, na po yung mga nakuli nila. And uh, expect, as expected, of course, kung na na po yung lain na napuli, uh, dito, as the year goes on and on, so the management itself also evolves. It has to be evolved. No? It has to be changed. Okay, nothing remains constant. So, they also have to adapt the different changes and different challenges na uh, nag-atubang nila no, in the future. So moreover, as an organization grows, it requires more manpower. That the function of a personal department is to assist with the acquisition, uh, take note with the word acquisition, development, and retention of the human resources necessary for the success of the organization. So do not uh, be confused now that I actually mentioned about the advancement in terms of strategies and systems. Na, ko a while ago, na they have to adapt with the changes from time to time, especially now that we are uh, facing the age of technology. And uh, of course, as expected, uh, the type of people that actually exist nowadays is nagkagrabi po ang ilang demands in terms of goods and services. So here, uh, I will be mentioning, no? uh, I will be presenting to you about uh, the view of Plepo as he actually enumerated it that, uh, as uh, two functions of personal management. So we have letter A, the managerial functions, and letter B, the operative functions. So let's tackle about managerial functions. So what are they? No? So we have to define first what is a managerial function. So a manager is a one who exercises authority and leadership over other personnel. 
So as a manager, the personal manager must perform the basic functions of management. So on the word itself, management, of course, uh, he will functionalize the basic functions, which is management. Now, what are the, the obligations, the responsibility that anchors about this uh, uh, type of function? So the later part, we'll be discussing about that one. Namely, the listing of major management functions varies with the experts. So meaning to say that depends on how the people actually understand, especially kaning si Plepo. Now below, I will be introducing to you also some of the proponents who introduces their idea and view about industrial management. So perhaps the original listing was that of Henry Payol in general and industrial management. So can you see Henry Payol, kasi usap po niya sa author who actually uh, introduces his idea and view about uh, managerial functions. Uh, he proposed a sequence of planning, organizing, commanding, coordinating, and controlling, as well as Lothar Golick calls these functions as the uh, post decord, which is uh, an acronym name of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, reporting, and budgeting. So there, as you can see, you know. So as uh, it was being uh, categorized at the top. Now, I hope you will not be confused. Uh, let's not talk about uh, the, the idea of Kanisi Henry, the idea of Lothar, but we're going to talk about the idea of Plepo. So, uh, as Plepo actually cited you know, the, the six basic managerial functions or gitawag siya o mga, mga sub-functions. No? Okay, because gi, kwa naman siya, no? gi, gi himay -himay naman siya. Okay? So, planning means for the personal manager, the determination in advance of personal program that will contribute to goals established for the enterprise. Now, what, what is actually the event or what are the, the, the obligations that corresponds when you talk about planning? So planning is concerned with conscious determination, or as mentioned, of course, of action required to achieve the predetermined objectives. Meaning to say, of course, before uh, everything came out, no, uh, it has to start with planning, Tana, no? including the budget, including the manpower system uh, that actually emphasizes on how to uh, bang put up no? or how to conduct uh, ito, tawag ito, recruitment and selection no? Kanang ilang, ila, ilang i, i talaga mga tao dito to the corresponding possessions na kinahanglan. No? Aside from that, of course, during the time of their tenureship, nagigap po na siya plano in terms of uh, compensation and benefits and salary and wages. Now, of course, without uh, these two very vital uh, organ or the two very vital tawag itong progressive PC, uh, planning is very impossible and planning will not be possible also to be executed. So, the present of research and forecasting, as you can see to my screen, research and forecasting, that is very important. Why? Uh, you cannot be able to actually uh, make a forecast. Nung get a forecast class, it is something that is very reliable. Nung uh, information that can uh, came out no, from time to time. But uh, that is actually due to the research presented, or meaning to say, the data. So, ang forecasting class is that, for example, it, is, it serves as mura na siya o kanang atua bang advance nga panglantaw on what will be the possibility that may came out no, in the future. So, that's one thing of it. Uh, like, for example, shall we say, uh, kaning, kaning kopi ko last time, we are just offering kana lang uh, mga usalang ka-flavor, uh, ka no? But in the later part, as you notice, daghan na kasi of variations ang yung flavor. Kung uh, si may no? Uh, with, with this, no? Ato lang, ato lang ikwa, na? Ato lang integrate kami research and gamit sa research and forecasting. Of course, nowadays, the people becomes very demanding and also the, peop uh, the people are very curious, no? And, uh, aside from that, the can put a factor like, for example, uh, they just want to, to make it something new no, or uh, a better and uh, very satisfying. So for them, uh, ilang no? uh, because of those data nga ilang nakuha nga, mga tao karong hilig na kayo o mga pay like, uh, even though they are going to spend a lot of money, kana lang pag pangapi like, atubos coffee, coffee leaf, anak. 
ila pong na na ano nga why not we are going to actually create a coffee that is more satisfying to the taste of the consumer nya para tura so with that uh, coming from that nga nagpropose sila og mga mga products karon now a days nga dagandagan ang variation sa taste uh, naka forecast na sila nga kana ba nga mo, mo angat jud ang ilaha nga produkto so ilaha na nang nalantaw uh, by means of that kanang forecasting also mura sa na sila og kanang pagkandak og research class simple na tay survey no so kana sang survey research uh, results sa survey that can be a good kana ba ang abasihan no to actually uh, make a forecast for what may possibly came out no with that uh, particular plan being made so these are the two interrelated since forecast is possible only as as a result of research so that that's what i mentioned a while ago no so there uh, it also mentions about the the trends no that uh, it can actually predict the we and the forecast no it can actually predict trends in wages in labor market in union demands in other benefits and in personnel policies and programs uh, to make it very concise uh, it is very it actually states a very general idea no it actually uh, offers or kana bang itawag na to og it covers no a wider scope no, in terms of views kaning planning so let us not just about uh, let's, let let us not just focus on the human or the the human resource management itself but also sa tanan nga mga uh, events sa organization so he has to perform another very important task of forecasting personnel needs. So this is uh, the one that is very crucial also, uh, the forecasting, of, forecasting about personnel needs. So you might be, uh, actually you have an idea already about the evolution because of this. No? Before, during the personnel administration, before it was evolved, uh, wala pa na siya na ni kaning for, uh, forecasting personal needs. This is very important. Kaning needs na di pasabot diri class, uh, if you are familiar with your subject in industrial organizational management, pasabot na siya about the well-being of the employee. So it's not just about paying them because nanarabaho sila, but also you also have to discover what are the factors that can make them motivated in order for them to functionalize well sa ilang trabaho. So changes in production or seasonal variations and the leveling out of differences in production. So of course, uh, with all of this explanation that I made, no, from the top below, na dyan na yung makita diha, no, kaming mga WH questions, and this is actually happens, or this is very applicable kaming gitaw ng sa planning kaming what, when, where, why, how, and by whom it is to be done. Okay. So when you say uh, what, of course, what will be the proposal? No, what are the plans that are necessary for that particular uh, problem or for the anabang, for something that can actually help the company's progress? When to do that? Uh, when to do an action for that? Where? Why do we have to, to do this and to do that? How can we be able to come up with that? Uh, Kind of possibility in terms of progress na in Hongi propose and who no who will who will be the the front line no and kanabang matawag na to ug initiate uh, actions uh, towards the, the goal of the organization okay so next uh, of course no uh, as uh, as Basi sa inyo nakita sa kong screen, of course, the next we'll follow will be the organizing. So here it was stated that after a course of action has been determined, an organization must be established to carry it out. So organizing is an important activity of personal manager by which he brings together the manpower and material resources for the achievement of organizational objectives. So organization involves identification and grouping the activities to be performed and dividing them among the individuals and creating authority and responsibility relationships among them. So to make the long story short, of course, no, uh, so such organization is very important. It also covers a wider scope. Uh, organizing, it's not just about arranging the office. But uh, 
during the time that uh, the organization has to establish no of its manpower system eh, siyempre mag-una mag ang mga manpower system no before the provision of anything else just like the materials tanan mga resources that is necessary for the daily operation so mag-start na sa organizing by department so magdala no nga uh, as you can see so sa usa ka organization nga nung gibuwag-buwag sila by department ay HR ni accountant it is very possible uh, logically speaking of course kung dili sila ilailahi pagkaguliyang ang adi so the organizing itself has to be implemented or applied uh, other than that kanang gitawag diri no uh, I, I really love the way it was uh, stated in the book sa kung dibasa ngayon this is the the marriage between the manpower and the material resources yes no it's because uh, through organizing di ba na ingon na tanong a uh, eh, organize sila by department no sa unsa man nga purpose siguro logically uh, kanino nga uh, para dali ra sila nga kanang in terms of giving the directions no or directives coming from the boss or kanabang uh, mga immediate superior no kanang mga downline sa mga managers mga supervisors dali ra ang pagrelay sa mga information and aside from that of course uh, in terms of distribution sa kanang material resources and distribution for the budget dali ra pod so mo na nga mo na importante kayo ang kanay pag establish or kanay pag impose og organizational policy paspas na pod no may itawag gray sa inyo nakita no there's a quotation identification grouping the activities they perform and dividing them among the individuals and creating authority so and responsibility relationships among them so meaning to say of course uh, it will be so easy for a leader or ang gitawag nato a manager no to to make plans uh, to execute those uh, strategy to execute, uh, to execute actions no uh, towards for the improvement of the organization so ingon na na no kay uh, dili ra man na na in the later part we'll be mentioning about controlling but diri no akong di apply diri kay since it was also mentioned na ang purpose po sa organizing is for them to easily create authority uh, to create authority means uh, to give commands, no? to give uh, disciplines uh, if necessary. And uh, that can actually provide them uh, uh, something uh, maka, maka dali dali lang sila. No? When it is actually being organized by department. They are being grouped together uh, according to their uh, specific skills and talents and knowledge. So, tanan. Okay? In all aspects. Next, we have directing. So, directing means moving to action and supplying stimulating power to group of persons. So, mura siya ingon ana, no? Mura siya puste. So, kanin, kanin sa directing di ay, no? uh, most, uh, most of the time, no? Sorry, when we talk about the directing, uh, mura very, very rigid, no? Because uh, the only thing that we can actually perceive about it is mura siya o maghatag o uh, command, no? a strict command, but it's not like that. No? Uh, moving to action. So, of course, uh, kaning directing because you will be giving directives to your uh, mga employee or sa imo nga mga galamay. Uh, that is one way of supplying stimulating power, meaning to say that can that is something that can motivate the people. No? That uh, this thing has to be done because uh, money, ma, money mas kwa, no? money siya mas possible, money siya mas nindot. So that is also coming from the different uh, ano bang, uh, presentations of leaders. So kana sa leader they are going to propose that this is something better. So it was in the end of the manager to approve about it. And of course, uh, coming sa iyang pagtimbang timbang, so he will give directives to the people. So direction involves issuance of orders and instructions. So as you can uh, see to my screen, providing guidance. No? It's very important providing guidance because uh, there is a directing without if you are just keep on keeping it uh, kanabang mahatag ka command no, in, a, in a very kuan ba kanabang pinalit or pina, pinalagot or something na kanabang uh, uh, imuhara no walay wala kay consultation sa imuhang mga galamay so 
mura sad og ma mahagit or murag ma mawad an og gana ang upat. So providing guidance also uh, for them to be directed sa ilaha nga goals and uh, to motivate the subordinates to follow the path laid down in advance. So directing essentially involves getting people to go to work willingly and effectively. So for them to be able to understand the goals and for them to be able to become productive of themselves. Controlling, so from the word itself, controlling, I think this is very understandable also, no? because uh, when you say controlling, uh, in a wider view, so di lang about sa important functions of the important controlling and important functions of management because you are going to regulate uh, especially sa mga activities of the personal in accordance with the personal plans. Yes. Mag, uh, na ginay basihan, no? There must be a plans. Now, it involves observation of action and its comparison with plans and corrections. Any deviations deviations that may occur. The deviations in uh, the precise group class is about sa performance. No? When there is a deviations na may tambo sa performance, of course, uh, kinangalan po na siya nga uh, correction na. No? Sa in what way man nabuhat ang controlling, ano mo, take effect ang controlling, of course, by providing uh, assistance. No? They can actually provide assistance by means of giving them uh, Ano paghatag o sanctions? No, actually, it's not about pan, uh, it's not about punishing, but that is something very ano bang makakuan po ba no? Makapamata po sa usa ng empleyado. And uh, but before you are going to make sanctions, of course, uh, ang, ang pinaka first step good about ano sa controlling no is trabaho gina sa usa ka immediate superior no nga imuha nga i konsulta ho na imo pangutan o ng imuha nga trabante. So why is it? What is the reason why nga nang deviate ang imang performance. So with that, uh, maklaro, no? uh, in a, at, an, at an early stage, pwede pa siya maagapan. And also, dili po na siya maka, ano bang, in, in this, nga, maka, ma, maka, maka motivate ka, ma, demotivate na lang hinuon, kay mura man o ka na bang laayod, no? tagahan din o sanctions. At times, it also involves the realignment of plans. So of course, uh, when, when, the plans is not no longer effective or the plans is need to be uh needs to be paused for a while oh mo na siya di mo take effect ang controlling your adjustment to unchangeable deviations so kung naay mga deviations nga wala nay kausaban of course no uh you are going to do something so that is part of controlling controlling is saying that actual performance is guided towards expected performance okay so, ang actual nga performance uh, has to be uh, maintained. No? Uh, if that is something uh, uh, very satisfactory, of course, as much as possible, we have to maintain satisfactory rather than maus-us pa sa satisfactory. No? Uh, Mauna siya yung pinaka-basic or mauna siya yung pinaka-vital about controlling. Innovating means the implementation of new ideas, methods, and technologies to better meet the ever-evolving requirements of the organization and its workforce. So it's about anticipating future. So um, based also in the book that I read, class, uh, innovating does not just suggest about sigilang pagbalin-balin of idea. No? Uh, it's nice to actually have an original idea and then think of something that can make that idea to be improved. Magdana ano nga, why? What is the reason why? From time to time class, uh, nagi changes. Everything changes. Even the systems of management will change. Uh, an organization, no, by by nature has to adapt changes. And as much as possible, dapat kangan kanang nga changes nga ato ang mga encounter. Dili lang diya tamo stop, no nga. We only have to provide a solution to the particular problem. Kaya nga, if it is possible for us to to provide applications coming from, you know, uh, we have to acquire ourselves a lot of ideas, acquire ourselves new ideas also, na maka add up sa ito ang mga previous knowledge, if that is possible, ito ang abuhato, no? Ito ang perform. Uh, for us, that's for our own good also. So there you can see now it's about anticipating future needs and circumstances. 
just like example karon sa to ang uh, kahintang no nga uh, nay pandemic so if ma resolve din ang pandemic does that mean nga uh, we're going to stop anticipating for what what uh whatever might be the possibilities that may come out in the future so of course we have to think in advance also it's something that can kind of help us nga dili ta ma ma malata no dili ta ma ma stop eh. diha na lang no uh, dili na ta mo exist it's because dili naman ta ka compete so that's very important okay Next, uh, we're going to talk about uh, operative functions. So of course, can operative function uh sa, sa, no? sa, sa function sa, sa, sa human resource management. So ang operative functions, uh, an operative function is one who has no authority over other but has been given a specific task or duty to perform under managerial supervision. So both pasabot, it's not like the managerial position na it has an, uh, uh, an authority over uh, other na mga task. So, ang kaning sa operative functions, it is a function wherein uh, managerial positions can actually take uh, kanabang kanabang mura siya o ni, ni kuano, mura siya o kanabang uh, ni, ni tamak usap sa sa iyahang uh, mga uh, downlines no to actually witness what are uh say lang mga pambuhat no what are the things that they perform sa ilahang trabaho so with this unsa may unsa may uh unsa may mga function sa manager ani no so operative functions as mentioned here so personal management are also known as service functions so there as you can see no na ibitang root or routine functions and they are concerned with activities like procuring, developing, compensating, integrating, and maintaining an efficient workforce. Now, to anong hima hima yun, no? So here on the next slide, we have procuring, developing, compensating, integrating, and maintaining an efficient workforce. So sa procurement or procuring class, this is very common. No? Most like sa word po na siya class, when we actually conduct a procurement, of course, you are going to make an order ang order like example wala na available ng mga resources or materials so you are going to plan uh, how to fill it in no sa ano mo pag butang no sa ano pag dumag so in what way this sa uh, sa operative function of personal management is concerned with the obtaining of the proper kind and number of personnel necessary to accomplish the organizational goals or the organization goals Yes, that is definitely true no, in, in the view of the human resource management or, or the manpower aspect. So, of course, you have to decide. You have to think also on uh, who are the people who will be hired for that particular uh, task no, na yung mga pag-assignment sa mga tao. So, it deals specifically with such subjects as the determination of human resource requirements and their treatment selection and placement. So, sa placement class, I hope you'll not be confused. Uh, I am pretty sure no, you're done discussing this one also sa inyong uh, industrial, organizational, and management na subject na. Placement class, when a particular person, if it is necessary no, to kanabang, kanabang uh, i-transfer na sa kaog laing na area or i-transfer na sa kaog laing na trabaho. So, like for example, uh, nakitaan ka og potential nga naa kay skills dahil nga pwede ka, ka perform sa other nga department sa ilahang nga trabaho. So, you will be uh, transferred. So, this is how the placement happens. Okay? Or else, siguro, uh, taas na kayo ang imong improvement sa imong trabaho. So, it's time for you to be uh, promoted on the one side, sa other position. The actual hiring process entails a multitude of activities designed to screen personnel, such as reviewing application forms, uh, psychological testing, because this is very important, checking references, conducting interviews. But anyway, this is just actually viewing the manpower system. What about uh, materials or mga resources still available for the company? Uh, does it necessarily that uh, we are going to conduct a procurement yes this uh necessary no you are going to conduct procurement of course like kanang mga bidding awarding that will be the next step that follows after procurement so masugo sa tag procurement class where to get that particular materials uh how much does it cost 
So, pila man ka materials ang dapat na itong akomprahon. So, what are mga specific na mga brands? Ana, no? Uh, so, yung ana. That is one way of uh, conducting procurement or procuring. Before, in my previous job, because I was assigned in COA, uh, ang ni procurement, it's because uh, di, nangita sila gwardya, no? Pag pangita nila o gwardya, of course, they are going to, to hire someone. But uh, it is very impossible to hire a uh, kanabang kanang regular yun nga gwardya nga para git sa COA. Because naam na civil service legibility, no? Nya, ang, ang license sa gwardya, uh, if we are going to kwan, dili man na siya, no, evaluate, dili man siya, pwede no, kailangan na, that's a separate uh, requirement. So, ang ilang uh, pinakanindot nga remedy is to hire uh, a security guard coming from the agency. Now, uh, what, what, what is the basis or how they, how, how they are going to get a, a security guard na kanabang mahaom sa ilang ganahan? So, of course, uh, na proposal no, about procurement. So, there, uh, they propose nila. Na, no? So, these are the following agencies na, na kanabang na yung mga security guard ano no so with that na 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 mga kuan ito so pila ka number sa guard pila yung dapat isweldo so sa mga mga benefits nila mahatag and other kuan no and uh, compensations also so yeah na yeah, after ano no bidding na awarding so ina na okay so ang resulta ato so may resulta ato sila ano kakuha sila no o guard pero under agency but they are performing or they are actually working in uh, the COA agency, uh, which is the government uh, agency also. So development, so from the word itself, develop, meaning to say, of course, not to become advanced or to something that gains progress. So development function has to do with the increase of skill through training. That is necessary for proper job performance. Uh, it is totally insane. No? Uh, it's very absurd to actually conduct a performance appraisal or conduct an eval evaluation about the performance of the person without letting that person uh, uh, attend no? or, uh, can, or participate for the training. So, dapat, usa sa atuang basihan class, usa sa atuang responsibility class is also to provide training first before ka mag uh, mag evaluate of performance. Okay? Na mag iubantas nga dito dito sura no, nga uman evaluate dayo, then what na dayo, that is something very inhumane kaya nga kapagi. So, uh, but uh, if you are going to, you know, if you are in the organization, that's the, alabang, the that's the usual process no, nga ilang itrabaho nga, of course, you have to provide training to that person. Okay, para po na uh, national knowledge and he will be able to know how his job will be evaluated. So this function covers activities like drafting and directing training programs for all levels of employees, arranging for their on the job, and then office and vestibule training, holding seminars and conferences, providing for education and educational counseling and appraising employee potential and performance. So, so providing for educational and educational counseling class, uh, of course, you will not find it so hard Siguro diri sa ato a class uh, sorry no sorry sa word bali di eh, no uh, it is surely you will find it so hard diri sa tua. a okay, wala man na sa ato a diri class kaning educational and educational counseling wala there's no actually counselor ni lang gi talaga para ana na who will perform for that sir ang um, perform ana class ang HR or ang immediate superior because he knows the nature of the job so, ara no, if there are deviations in terms of performance, uh, if it needs for that person to have uh, kanabang gitawag na to retraining or to to be subjected for a retraining, no, ato ang atagaan or else uh, pinaka short ng kaya natin kaya coaching or mentoring, pwede na. A coaching is the most uh, appropriate. Appraising employee potential and performance. Of course, uh, you're going to appraise because what's the purpose of uh, appraisal? You'll be able to know what are the factors uh, for under improvement or anabang, uh, over improvement. So it was improved already. So what are uh, the other factors that are needed to be improved also? So in ana nga pagi. Like for example, pas pas na kaysa mo putos. Pero sa pagsuod sa lata, pagkaya siya maayo. 
So, he needs to be exposed more sa pagsuot sa lata for him also to improve. No? Uh, that's just an example anyway. But, uh, that's, uh, kalabang, kuwan ka na siya, no? <laughs> oh. Compensations. So, from the word itself, compensation, I know this is very familiar to everybody. When you say compensations, of course, with all of those hard works, with all of those efforts exerted by uh, the employee in the company, uh, with all of those things uh, that he contributed to the company, he deserves to be uh, rewarded. No? Compensation function is defined as securing the adequate and equitable remuneration of personnel for their contribution to attain organization objectives. So it includes activities related to wage surveys, wage policies, wage systems, job, job classifications, job descriptions, job analysis, merit ratings, uh, wage rates, incentives, profit sharing plans. What are these? That can, no? But uh, let me tell you something about this one. No? Uh, so wage service, usa sa nga obligasyon, no? So usa ka manager, no? Usa sa obligasyon sa manager, ang kaning wage service, uh, as much as possible, delegate as much as possible, but this is ob uh, their obligation, no? To actually, uh, kana bang dapat updated sila, no? In terms of the wage service. Like, for example, if naay balaod ang gobyerno ka, no? Just like kang, kang, and the third thing about law, no, nga nag-ingon nga nga kanabang about mga taxation rin noon so far, no, kanabang pag 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 kuan ng tax, pag kaltas ng tax ng empleyado na nasa bago nga mga alignment na in terms of sweldo kung pila rin kaltas. Now, as a wage and service, as much as possible, they have to be very updated with the other company or the other competitor also on how they are going to provide kaning gitawag na itong market value of salary. So that's very important. Okay? Para po, na naman, para dili malugi. O kaning wage policy sa unsa man nga paagi. Like example, is that reasonable nga ang imong trabaho na ka sa office, tagahan na ka og 3.20, 40. So there are also uh, bang, uh, basis na kaya nga nila i-follow in order not to violate no, the, kana bang sa 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 pagpanibisyo sa tao. So, it has to be properly compensated. Kung unsa ang effort, kung unsa nga skills, kung unsa nga knowledge ang require ng nga particular position. So, yan nga, ang, ang sildo sa nila is kuwan po, no? Kanabang igo po ba? Kompensatory. No? Sa ilang nga kahago, sa ilang nga talent. Way systems, job classifications, and etc. So, incentives, of course, it providing incentives, yan nga, Uh, they also have to check from time to time. Diligin na siya yung mga anabang lipat-lipat lang, no? But from time to time, they are going to update sa ilahang budget kay Basin. Mas daghan ang ilang ipagawa. So, yung suit sa ilaha, gamay na lang. Let us not forget that the company actually established or the company was uh, also investing, no? For them to gain profit. Now, if Sobra ano po sila hatag because kinahan nila ang mga tao, dili na mo laya sa ilang kumpanya. Unya, wala nila. In return sila ko galingon, wala na sila ilaha. So muna yung nakalisod. So of course, um, it has to be in balance. Integration. So sa integration class, dili no, about dili no, after the employee has been procured, so his skills and abilities developed and monetary compensation was done. Uh, the most important task of personal management is to integrate the individuals with organization. In what way, no? Integrate. Mingitag integration, of course, something that uh, pwede siya. Kanang kwa, no? Mingitag integrate. Kaya sa sa word, no? It can be integrated. Mingunta, you should be connected. So, uh, if, if you were to, you, the job, no? Personal management is to connect, no? To let that person actually know that he is actually connected to the company. Like family, so of course they are also important to the company. So in what way that can a company can actually establish a good integration you know, towards its employee? Uh, of course, can mga reasonable conciliation uh, of individual. So when someone actually uh, commits uh, violation you know, in terms of the the policy standards of the company. Uh, ayaw po na yung ditso nga ano, nga ato as lang iniroon no, nga sinalbahiso na to paagi nga tagaan na to dakdakan din na to umbog at nga silo just because of that simple nga violation. Uh, everything has to go or undergo in a due process. 
So dili siya pwedeng uh, tana bang imo-imo lang dia sa kumpanya inana no. However, nay mga nahitabo ana no nga dili kayo wala nila handle og karong ang ilahang nga kanabang paghatag og sanction sa ila nga mga empleyado. So that is the reason why nay mga daghan pending case karon sa Dole of NLRC or National Labor Relations Commission. So, uh, societal and organizational interests. So, of course, uh, it has to be in line together or in parallel. This has to do with the feelings and attitudes of personnel in conjunction with the principles and policies of organization. So, meaning it also deals with problems like grievances, disciplinary action, labor unions. Kaning, kaning problems like grievances, class, uh, kaning reklamo, class ba, no? O sa high class, uh, ang reklamo sa usa ka empleyado class, dili na yun ma-properly address, no? Nga? mo na nga maka-trigger sa usak empleyado nga mahimo mahimo pa ginuon siya og bati nga lakang no due to frustration so of course as much as possible you have to uh, you have to maintain professionalism also no if there are grievances that are uh, na mga grievances no coming from the employee of course it has to be addressed properly with the concerned person against sa tong tawo ang iyang gikwanan and uh, as much as possible, the company has to create a path or make a path that they can uh, discuss together with the problem in order for them to be reconciled. Sa labor unions, of course, uh, nai mga nai mga kwa ano nai mga kaniyang disciplinary action. Of course, normally this is uh, uh, this actually happens, no? Every time. Na naay ko ano ana bang nabay buhaton nga di maayo or uh, not in line to the kaning gitawag nato og the interest of the organization so if, if if the particular act that is being done by someone or an employee is no longer in line to the interest of the or kanabang conflict of the interest sa usa ka organization normally we can actually receive disciplinary action labor unions in terms of labor unions the company or the organization has no total kaning gitawag nato o kanabang uh, uh, rights no nga imo nang ibawal ang kanang labor unions normally kanang nga mga tao kadugayan class na possibility especially if na violate ni mo ilang right nga mag-unionize na sila now kaning sa labor unions also gibawal ba ni sa balaod wala siya gibawal no as long as it actually uh, undergoes a due process and it, it is also abiding to or adhering to the law. There are also policies, there are also specific law that is uh, kanabang pwede ni ang, ang labor union no, mo, mo, mo say nga tao ka na mapagawa sa ilang gibati or whatever will be their complaints as long as it's not conflicting with the interest of the organization. Dili sad nga makapakauaw na na no. So it's uh, na naginis siya sa balaod. Okay? So, maintenance, no? From the word itself, maintenance, dako ni class, actually, ang gi-refer, gi, 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 no? is about sa physical condition of the employees, to the health and safety. But, uh, maintenance, uh, it has to be maintained, kung no, as ang ipasabot niyo, no? Uh, this can also help the, the employee to become motivated. Uh, are you familiar with, kani siguro no, I'm sure everybody are familiar also with Medicare. So sa Medicare class na yung mga, mga kung ano, na mga, mga, part, na, na, na money nga allocated for that specific or to the individual na mga empleyado. And then, uh, gitagaan sila ka ng uban, mga dental, dental, kung ano, check up every six months. Ana. Sa maintenance class, it's, very helpful nowadays no sa human resource management or sa personal management of functions because before wala mo guni siya natagan og pagtagad it was later then nga na evolve siya nga uh, the the management system is more kada bang they are now uh, giving importance about the the welfare of the human being so this is it no this is part of it kaning sa maintenance nga ilang gi maintain nga ang mga empleyado is also in a good condition or uh, good physical condition for them to functionalize well and become productive sila nga trabaho and also to be, for them to become happy other than that sa maintenance also part ang um, since we're talking about the functions of the management itself so sa maintenance uh, dili lang ana no but also to provide also uh, kaning gitawag nato og 
uh, appropriate budget no? that can actually supplement the entire needs of the organization. So, dili lang para na budget para sa kwarta, but also uh, kaning to maintain no, uh, from the word itself, maintenance, of course, there must be a proper maintenance also sa kanang mga 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 equipments or sa kanang tanan. The, under also the approval and recommendations are directions from the uh, manager or the personnel management. So this is the, their task. Next, we have the separation pay. Sad to say, of course, a lot of people are actually, right now, especially mga Filipino, wala kayo natagaan. Nasa mga pending case about an. So if the first function of personal management is to secure the employee, so they're secure already, and health benefits, it is logical that the last will be the separation and return of the person to society. So when that particular person actually decided to resign from the job, of course, uh, he will be subjected to receive separation. Most people do not die on the job, you know, so the organization is responsible for meeting certain requirements of due process and separation, as well as assuring that the return citizen is in good shape and as possible. So Clipo rightly discusses this function dealing with retirement, layoff, outplacement, and discharge. So the purpose of all the activities, both managerial and operative, is to assess in the accomplishment of basic objectives. So the separation itself, of course, this is very understandable to everybody because when you say separation, once you separate it to the organization, whether you are going to retire or you are going to find another job because you're no longer happy or you're looking for a greener pasture, uh, separation class uh, it has to be provided by the organization uh, sa uban ang sa uban nga organization no kanang wala kanin na nataga ay pagtagad ang kaning separation pay so this is very important also uh, the separation pay class na agin siya it hatag it is actually a government mandated uh one punis provision so kinahanglan na siya nga uh, ihatag no sa mga empleyado However, na lay mga specific grounds nga pwede, pwede ang separation pay can be uh, withhold for a meantime because of mga issues, no? But that, if that is uh, that issue is actually pertaining to moral fortitude, fortitude, dili kayo inana kayo kagrabe no nga kana mahold ang separation. Uh, only mahold siya kung it is relating to Ano man, kanang mga kuano, kanang mga damages nga that involves money. Okay? So, ang separation pay also can be uh, contested on how long does the tenureship of the person uh, kanabang diha, yeah, no? Kung sa siya kakadugay diha sa organization. And, uh, ang po niya, market value of salary kung pila na. Okay? So, separation pay Maulgina, no, kung if that is relating to, kung Osborn, that is relating to moral torpitude, as long as masettle na siya, of course, the person is subjected to receive a separation pay. Uh, Nain na siya, mga specific, I am not very uh, knowledgeable about the amount, but uh, as per knowledge that I have no, from, the, from the previous job that I have, no, after I graduated as a HR, na na siya, mga proper nga, kung saan yung pagbayad. And then, if that is relating to damages, uh, as per experience, una, it will be deducted from your salary. Uh, it will be deducted from the separation pay that you, you're, you're going to receive. So, nana lang ang pag niya. Okay? So, I think I am done with my discussion. Thank you so much. And I hope you learned a lot from this topic. Thank you.